Hey guys, uh, today I want to talk about a more natural way of uh, dealing with weeds in our lawns and um, the product that I, I want to introduce you to in doing this is uh, sugar, it's natural sugar, natural sugar, okay, and I'm going to explain how this works in taking care of, you know, the weeds in our lawn, but before I do that, I know um that usually or typically when we want to deal with weeds in our lawns we tend to go for more um chemicals like a, a broadleaf herbicide like a broadleaf herbicide like this one you know q4 plus that we can use for broadleaf uh herbicide to to take care of uh the weeds in our lawns but what if you know, you don't want to go this route using chemicals and you want to use a more natural way. That's when the sugar comes in, in into play when I talk about, you know, taking care of weeds more naturally. But how does sugar works? So when you add sugar to your lawn where you have weeds, it kind of suppresses the um, the weeds and increase microbial activity and the soil which competes with the weeds now sugar doesn't have any nitrogen in it so what that does is it increase microbial activity and kind of suppress the weeds from actually growing so that's how you know you, when you use sugar you kind of like uh, suppress the weeds from you know from growing now i will say this if you have a salad bar and what i mean by salad bar is if you have a bunch of weeds all around your yard then i will now recommend you using the sugar to kind of suppress the weeds just for the simple fact that you know it's natural it takes it will take probably take longer for that to happen i don't really know uh, the time frame for killing these weeds now and it's not all the weeds that uh, will be suppressed by you using sugar the only weeds that can uh, that sugar can suppress is the uh, broadleaf uh, weeds and the annual weeds okay so it doesn't kill it doesn't even kill or suppress crabgrass for example so if you have crabgrass in your in your lawn this sugar is not gonna work so if you have a broadleaf or, or annual weed and I will, I will list some of these weeds on the side here for you guys to see the different types of weeds that the sugar can suppress then you can go ahead and and use that i'll also list the annual weeds that sugar can suppress so you guys can see if you have any of these weeds in your lawn then you can probably use it uh you can probably use sugar, the sugar to suppress that now i'm going to show you my lawn is is pretty much thick and i don't have a whole lot of weeds but i'm going to show you i have some weeds here and there that i'm going to show you how you can use how you can use the sugar to to do that now before you go ahead on dumping sugar all over your yard i want to say this you want to really water this in okay if you do not water this in properly you are going to be inviting ants to your lawn which we don't need so i say this and all to say that it's a good it's a good natural way of of taking care of suppressing weeds but you have to water it in heavily okay you have to water it heavily i cannot stress that enough because if you don't you're gonna invade there's going to be a lot of insects that are going to invade your yard and now you have another problem that you will have to deal with taking care of you know those insects so we don't want that so when you do it you want to do it lightly and and that's it you don't want to just dump it all over heavy and even if you do that heavily you want to water this in now there are two ways you can do you can you can spread this around you can use a, 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 a spreader and and put one cup of sugar into for, 
So it will be one cup for every 1,000 square feet, okay? Because you're putting it lightly and you're not dumping a whole bunch. So if you want to use a spreader, that is if you have uh, another, if you have, if you have weeds, I'll say about 25% of your yard is, is weeds, then you want to use a broadcast spreader and put one cup per thousand square feet and then just spread it just like the way you spread a granular or, uh, or any type of fertilizer in your lawn, okay? Now, if you have weeds here and there, it's not a whole bunch like the way I do, and I'll show you in a few minutes, you can just use your hand, okay? All you do is pour some on your hand and just sprinkle it around. Now, I have some weeds in the front also that uh, we will do a test on. I'll just sprinkle a couple of these uh, sugar around and, and, and then just water it in. All right, guys, so this is a, a typical weed here that I have. Um, I did cut my grass down yesterday, so, you know, most of it is, is, is been cut off. But as you can see, I have this weed right here, which um, I can't really identify. I'm not good at identifying weeds, but pretty much what you do is you want to just sprinkle a little bit like that. Okay. All right, once you do that, next thing you want to do is I have a can here water. You want to water this very heavily, okay? Make sure it goes down the soil, okay? Because we don't want no ants invading the lawn. So, Make sure you water this very heavily. And that's pretty much it. All right guys, so that's the front area right here. And as you can see, it's weeds all over this sidewalk here. So basically, what we're gonna do is Sprinkle. Okay, if you can. Now maybe I would do a I would do a follow up on this. Um, as far as how long this would take, um, I don't know for it to suppress or kill these weeds right here. That's, that's the, the thing, because with natural products, it tends to take a little bit longer. So I'm not sure how long this will take. Um, I guess every, it, 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 depending on the weed, or the type of weeds you have, uh, will determine how long it takes to, to get rid of it natural products tend to take longer so you wanna, just like that heavy now if you have I'll say 25% if your lawn is covered with weeds then you want to turn your sprinkler on for about i'll say with this i'll say at least an hour yes an hour because you want this sugar to go deep down into the soil and not attract ants that is the that is the the big big thing that we're trying to avoid we do not want to attract ants. So that's pretty much, pretty much it. I'm gonna fill this up again and I'm gonna come back in and water this whole thing.
thing down because I really wanted to get down the, deep down the soil. So I'll have to do that. So all in all, to wrap this up, I want to say that it's um, usual sugar is, you know, it's eco-friendly. It's cost, as far as cost-wise, it's cost, it's, it's what? I got that for like less than $10 at the store. So um, I don't know if you want to give this a try. Is this something you want to try? Um, let me know in the comments below. And uh, let me know if you, you know, if this is something you really like to try and see if you know you go this route alternate route instead of a, a herbicide like the one I showed you earlier um, let me know uh, thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video